Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today it's another trying to fix video and we're going to be trying to fix this lance here from this Karsha pressure washer. So this is called a dirt blaster I believe and it's my brother's, I'm around my brother's house and basically what's happening is uh, he lent it out and then got it back and uh, yeah unfortunately it's not working properly. So it should kind of come out, This is these, these are the ones you use to get rid of stains so it's quite a fine point on it and apparently it rotates around. So he's done the usual stuff he's tried to put a little needle up there give a little wiggle around he's uh, put some descaler in there in case it's scaled up and that hasn't fixed it and it's definitely a problem with the lance itself because this one works absolutely fine so let me just quickly show you this one not working and then this one working okay so this is a dirt blaster so my brother's just going to press the, uh, the handle now and can you hear it's kind of uh, the caster itself is like hunting isn't it and also that's not working properly. Now let's show you one that is working. And when you hear it go like that, you would actually think that that was a problem with the actual Karsha washer itself, but it's not. It's definitely the Lance, because now watch this one here. Okay, so we're gonna take this dirt blaster apart and see if we can see anything obviously wrong with it. So now we're gonna put the Lance in here to clamp it because we need to unscrew this bit here. We're gonna use the, the flats straight down so it basically grips onto the flats otherwise it's just going to keep spinning uh, now ideally it would be better to clamp it here if possible but unfortunately this little workbench here doesn't allow that so my brother's just going to hold it here while he's undoing the, the, the end bit and that is an 18 millimeter there we go so that's an 18 millimeter spanner and you just need to go round counterclockwise yeah just the normal way yeah Okay, so it does look a little bit scaled up. Okay. Ah, hold on. And now we'll take it inside, I think. Yeah, so just looking in here immediately, it looks like there's something on that one there, because they're tiny little, they're tiny little holes in there. I can just see on the edge of them, on the top of them there, so the top of the nine o'clock one is a little hole. Spin that one round and there's a little hole. So there's already some gunk in that one there. So maybe it might well be just the fact that it's scaled up over the years. So let's get it inside. Okay, we're now inside, and if you look at the lance, you can see that it's just a through hole there. It's just a pipe, isn't it? So 100% it's nothing to do with this. It's all to do with this end bit here. Now, uh, my brother's had a look at it, and he thinks that we're gonna have to get some long nose pliers and just basically pull this middle section out here. There's a kind of like flesh colored section. So let's uh, give that a yank out and see what happens. Do you wanna do the honors? There we go, right, okay. So that's come out with an O-ring. Was that O-ring underneath, I wonder, or on top? It seemed to come out this way around. It did, didn't it? And saying that, there is a bit of a mark there, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, okay. But that that is definitely blocked there. Look, that one's blocked up completely, can you see? Yes. So if I just show the camera. So these are the little holes I was talking about. And if you have a look on this one here, there's uh, some gunk in there. So we're just gonna get a needle and free that up. Right, so before we get involved with that, let's just quickly see if this thing here cleans out. Now, I don't want to make that hole any bigger. Yeah, look at that. That is... Actually, there we go. That is... That looks like a tiny leaf or something. It's not a bit of O-ring, is it? I don't think so. It looks like... Uh, oh, no, it's... it's uh... Do you know what? I don't know what that is. That does look like... A bit of a leaf. What do you think? A bit, of, a tiny bit of wood or a leaf or something? Could be, yes, yes. Yeah. So I was wondering how a leaf could get in there because I was thinking, well, how can it work its way up there? But of course, when the machines are parts, let's say, you know, over the winter months, then the lances are just all separate. So really, anything can crawl or go down in there, and then it will end up getting blocked into that nozzle there. So now let's have a little close look in here and see what we've got. Right. So it looks like there is. There, so that's coming out like that there. Oh, and that is the that is the thing at the end. So that's all it is. So basically, there's nothing more in there. It is just this with this on top. So this must, as the jets of water go flying in in here, they're angled, aren't they, Paul? So yes, they're going to be going this way. So it must be knocking this thing round like that. Does this rotate in there? Do you think? I'd say so it's got an O-ring, so you think it would seal into something in there. But there's nothing there. Yeah. 
Because look, it's loose in here. If I drop it in yes. here, can you see? It yeah. wobbles around. It's hard to see with the camera, but mm. that's all loose. So, right, so looking at this here, there is no wear on that whatsoever. The ball bearing's in there. I can feel it moving around. This thing here, I presume, is okay because there's... Uh, there is water coming out. Saying that, how does the water get in? Is it via here? Hmm? If this is spinning round, how does the water come out of that middle bit? It doesn't. It, it, the water comes out here. Oh, what? But no, but there's a hole in there. There isn't, is there? There is. There's a hole in the very middle. Is that, is that's not blocked, is it? I don't think so. If it just shows the camera, if you look here, there is a tiny little hole just in the middle there. Do you know what? Look, the only thing I can see that's wrong with it is that little leaf. So let's not get too involved with it because the rest of these now, I can see, I can see daylight through all of them. Yeah, they're no longer blocked up. If the leaf had blocked up just one of them, maybe then it doesn't allow it to rotate round because obviously this has to, I presume, spin or something. And uh, if there was just one blocked and there was just three of them, maybe it just kind of goes like that, you know, like... Uh, round so far then stops and round so far and stops or maybe it just stays in that position instead of all four of them spinning round so it might not be that at all but let's pop it back together give it a go and see uh, see if it has fixed it or not I suppose the water must go down inside the middle of it because there's no ring on the outside there is but how does that it's all it empty seals, in here it seals, no it seals there the o-ring seals around it doesn't, there it doesn't because look it's too it's, it, this thing is wobbling around all inside look can you see? The, so the oh. O-ring, the O-ring is it only must be up just the top. like a bumper. Yeah, like a bumper to stop so it bumping the side. To make it sound nicer, maybe. Yeah, instead maybe. of instead yeah, of just yeah. like you know rattling. Yeah. Well, look, let's try it. It might not be that at all, but let's uh, let's give it a go. All right, let's see if it's made any difference. Here we go. No, no difference <laughs> at all. Right. Well, so it's, <laughs> so it's not the leaf. All right. Let's uh, take it apart again. <laughs> Right, so that was a bit unfortunate. I thought for a minute or two that maybe I would do a My Mate Vince trying to fix video that was under five minutes where the item was actually broken. So, I mean, that wouldn't have helped that leaf in there. So it's, you know, good that we've seen that. But this is, uh, this is weird. So what must happen is that goes there. So that's the nozzle there, isn't it? Yeah. So that's definitely the nozzle. So this must run around this top bit here. And the ball bearing must be getting pushed down to allow water to go through. And it, oh, I wonder if it's. Do you reckon it might be blocked up? Hold on. But I can see. Look, you can see through there. Have a look. Can you see? Have a look through that hole. I've got some light behind it. I can see where it goes white to dark when you put your hand there. Yeah, there's light. Yeah. So look, let me just show the camera that. All right. So if you. Uh, there, look, when I move my hand away, can you see now it's kind of white in the middle and now it's gone dark? There, look. Unless it is ever so slightly blocked, I wonder can we get this ball bearing out so we can have a look inside or can we get the nozzle? Would the nozzle unscrew, do you think, from the edge? I don't know. Should we take this O ring off just for the, just for the time being? So that all looks fine, doesn't it? It's, uh, it? They're definitely not still blocked any of them, any blockage at all in it. I don't think there is. Look, look from both sides. Well, I can see daylight through that one. Yeah, they're definitely all they're definitely all clear. So it must be something to do with this. Now I'm just thinking. No, I was just wondering if that had got whacked in, whether it would stop her. Uh, if that was whacked in so the whole thing was shorter, then the top bit wouldn't be hitting against the ball bearing. But the ball bearing's moving. Shall we see if that ball bearing can come out with this little pin? Yeah, it's not working anyway, so we're not going to be any worse so far, are we? No. Oh, here we go. It's out. It's out. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Let me just show the camera in there. It looks like there's four quarters, and one of the quarters does look blocked. Can you see this top quarter here? That definitely looks blocked compared to the rest of them. I'll just put a little bit of this down it just to see whether this, because uh, this will go all the way down. Well, this is really weird. That just seems to go all the way down. Let's make it a little bit wider. Oh, 
Right, that's going all the way. Oh, I've hooked it now. Oh, that's going all the way to there, so that is going all the way through. Oh, look, it's cleaning up now. Hold on. Yeah, it must be scale, because now have a look. Scale? Look, have a look now. Just showing the camera. Look, it's cleared itself. I've probably pushed it down into the nozzle, though. Well, well done, Vincy. But it's probably at the nozzle now, isn't it? I could. Is it worth setting up a thing as you scale and just popping it in for a while? We could do, yeah. Right, if you look now, you can actually see right the way through it, and you can actually see the blue map in the nozzle there. So I don't know where that lump of scale went unless it's stored in the side bits. I think pop it in a cup of scale at 15 minutes. Yeah, okay, and see I what think, happens. Yeah, right, now you're taking it apart yeah, and see okay. what happens. Okay, so this is the stuff we're using. It's supposed to be one in eight, so you put one of these into eight water, but my brother's made it up strong this time. He's just done one in four. So we're just gonna drop it in. You wanna do this one or not? Yeah. Should I throw that in? You can, yeah. Right, there we go. So we're just going to let them soak away there for 15 minutes. Right, okay, so it's been there however long it's been. It might not have been quite 15 minutes, but you know what? We've been thinking about it, having a look at this one here. So let's take this part out. We're pretty sure that this part still looks intact. That was the part that had the leaf in it. But now looking at this one here, we're just trying to work out how this thing actually works. Now, we know that this sort of rotates like like this so it, it kind of goes round in this sort of rotation like that now what makes it do that so with this part here it is shoving the water through at an angle I mean you can see the way it's designed there it's going to be shooting it through at all those four angles going like this but then why would this rotate it must be because of these fins here so what we're thinking now is maybe it's as simple as the fact that this is not rotating because perhaps these fins are worn because if you look at them they don't really look completely uniform. Can you see this one's going off in that direction? This one's out here. That's just like a little nub. I'm not saying it is that. I mean, it'd be great if it is just the fact that it's scaled up. But I'm wondering, because these ones here look to be ever so slightly bigger than these ones, I'm wondering whether through, through this being used that this is worn against a plastic edge here. Yes, it's got a rubber O-ring on it but that's not gonna stop the top from rubbing. So I'm wondering whether it's not spinning because it's worn here. And if that's the case, we'll have to look to see if you can buy spares. So we're just gonna clean these up now. But I'm just gonna give this a quick blow through now, obviously putting it away from anybody's face because you don't want this stuff in your eyes. Right, okay, I don't need to do the macro, you can see there now. It's like a perfect, you can see each of them, they're perfect now. Funny enough, now that it's dried off, those ridges are not looking as bad as I thought they did. Before I thought they looked, they didn't really look the same as each other, but now looking at them, they do. So I really don't know. You know, right now, I really do not know if this is going to work or not. So let's pop it back together, put it in, and if it doesn't work, then I'm 100% sure that it's not a scale build-up, and I think it's going to be to do with the fact that this part is worn. The only other thing I can think of is that maybe if this was dropped, that this has pushed itself in slightly, and then if this is, this is a little bit shorter, then it's not going to make a good connection against here, you know, if it needs to be, for example, a millimetre longer. But if it doesn't work, we could always get the pliers and try to pull that out just to kind of eliminate that, but it might just uh, go back in again. Right, so that's in there like so, that goes there, and uh, yeah, that goes down, it can't go any further because there's a, a little lip in there. So now we're going to try it again. Go for it. No. Looks like it's spinning. Okay, let's, uh, we've got, we've got this in a four sprays and a middle spray. Yeah. Let's take the nozzle out by a millimetre, just to see if yeah. that works, and okay. if not, see if there's any spares. Okay. Right, now this may damage the nozzle, but we have got a paper clip. I'm actually gonna put it down, because I was trying to do it on the edges. I'm just gonna go straight down into the nozzle. There we go, it's coming. Let's put it out completely. There we go, excellent. Right, now we can have a proper look at this. See, again, there's no scale in that whatsoever. So why don't we leave it long and let this push it all together, yeah? Okay. So just in case it was dropped and whacked in, so why don't we leave it long like that? Because that is about two or three millimetres. That's probably about two millimetres longer than it was before. Just in case it's not making the proper seed against the bottom. Right, so we're just going to tighten this up now and uh, nip it up with the spanner.
Right, let's see if that's made any difference. Yes, it has. Right, okay, so it's rotating. Is that as powerful as normal or not? It doesn't seem to be quite as stable as it normally is. It used to be, a, 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 just have a memory of the cone being nice. Nicer. That, it that, seems to be an off centre cone. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, hold on a minute. If it's off centre, maybe uh, this nozzle is too far out and it's not moving freely. So why don't we take it apart and why don't we move it in a fraction of a millimetre okay. and then that might fix it. Right, we'll do just set this outside now. So let's take that thingy out again and let's just try to just push it in maybe just a fraction of a millimetre. Will you do it for me? Just a tiny, tiny amount. Tiny, that's it. That's okay. It. Right, and now pop it back in. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's as good as it was or not? It seems to be working. Can I have a go? Say, I use it so infrequently. Yeah, let's have a go. Well, there's a fair bit of power there, and it goes like a pinpoint. I mean, it's doing more than it was. Okay, so next day now, my brother's been looking at this overnight and it looks like he's come up with a solution. So basically, we know it's to do with length because as this got shorter, it stopped working. When we lengthened out the nozzle, it started to work. But why? Did the nozzle wear down? Or is it more likely that the ball bearing here, which is the thing constantly on the move, has worn down? Yes, it is. Now, it's not the ball bearing, it's the plastic underneath. Now, if you look at it, can you see that the ball bearing is only just proud off the plastic there. So to get this to work, the, the best way you're doing it is this. Get yourself a tiny, tiny little washer, like this. Yeah, tiny little washer there. Pop it in this top bit, like so. You can still see it still allows the water to go in behind that and then pop the ball bearing in and now look can you see it's about another one millimeter or so proud maybe a bit more and then that will work now it's not perfect ideally right two washes is too much ideally it would be one and a half but we only had so many washers to hand but in this instance here obviously it depends on the wear on your machine so the washer we used going by the gauge here is 6.1 millimetres across, internal 2.6 millimetres, and the depth is 0.5. So I suppose to make this one perfect, if the depth was about 0.7, it would probably be the, uh, the, the, the best. But remember, you can still pull this bit out here a little bit. If you have a look, can you see that we have actually pushed this back in? So it's near enough, I think, where it was originally. Right, well, let's put it back together and I'll just quickly show you it working. Right, okay, check this out. Just done that bit there. Working pretty good, all for the sake of just a tiny little washer. So you know what, that was a nice fix in the end. It was nice to actually prove the fault rather than just kind of trial and error doing different things I'm pretty sure my brother's correct there the ball bearing is being constantly moved which is wearing the plastic underneath so by putting that in there all it's doing is building it back up again to the correct height so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more trying to fix videos take care bye now